Namaste everyone and a big aloha from Hawaii. Since this is a time of the worldwide coronavirus pandemic and uh, the shelter in place orders, the stay at home orders for most people, I thought I'll talk about yoga for everybody today. I've been thinking about talking about yoga, but I thought I'll start about yoga being applicable or something for everyone to practice. Most people who are at home can practice some yoga at this time because it is one of the things that you can do anywhere at your home, in your living room or bedroom and you do not need any equipment. Yoga is one of the things where you really do not need equipment. You do not even need the mat, the yoga mat, if you don't have one. If you have one, it helps, but you, it's not necessary. When I talk about yoga with someone, they immediately ask me, uh, do you do yoga every day? Or how do you do yoga? Then they ask me if I can do a headstand or if I can put my legs behind my head or something like that. That is the conception of yoga in the Western world. And in fact, uh, now due to the influence of the Western world all over the globe, that is the idea of yoga throughout the world right now including the people in India, primarily the cosmopolitan folks living in the metro cities of India. It is sad but true. Yoga is from India. Yoga is something which is very core. It's actually a very core value system of the traditional civilization that started thousands of years ago in India. And yoga is spiritual in nature. It is not just the exercise. The exercise is probably 5%. It is not an exercise form. There could be volumes written on this topic. And in fact, there are volumes and volumes and perhaps libraries full of this literature on the yoga philosophies. And definitely there are thousands of books and scriptures you know, the Upanishads, and they all talk about the yoga, which is not the exercise, not the yoga asana. There is Raj Yoga, there is Karma Yoga, there is Bhakti Yoga, there is Hatha Yoga, many different kinds of yoga. The word yoga if you are already aware, you probably know, but the yoga word actually means connection or union or adding, combining. That's what it means. So it's, it's not the physical exercise. It's about your mind and body. It's about your spirit and the universe, universal spirit and your spirit and your soul also mind and body breath and your physical movements all of that i once asked a couple of uh, second generation indian american indian kids whose parents migrated from india and so they are pretty close to the indian culture and i asked them what they knew about yoga And you know what their answer was. They, uh, the answer kind of shocked me because they said, 
Yoga is some exercise which, you know, usually white women do, and white, slim, athletic American women, they're all into yoga, so that's, that's all they know about yoga. I was surprised, but later on I realized that they, they were correct from their perspective. This is what they have seen in, in the yoga studios, on TV and movies and such. They did not have any idea, were not aware that it came from India. Anyways, going back to my original point is that yoga is for everyone. It is not just for the slim, athletic, urban, white women. Uh, it is not just for the celebrities, um, the film stars and rock stars who you see practicing yoga and putting on Instagram. It is not only for the vegan people. It's not for the people wearing the Lululemon pants and the yoga pants and, you know, uh, fashion yoga and it's also uh, not for showing off your body or showing off the headstand or some people want to show off how conscious they are and so it's not about that it's actually for everyone and everyone is welcome to try yoga you just need to um, understand that it's for everyone it's not just the exercise but the yoga I'm talking about here is is the yoga asana which is which is the exercise piece but even that is for um, everyone you can try the exercise try the asanas it's not about showing off a competition it's just focusing on your movement and your breath your mind and body so asana is a sent physical part of yoga and there's so much that I can talk here, but I will not make it too lengthy and I'll end this article. I'll post other articles on this subject and related topics and hope ongoing. I'll probably post it on a blog. And I was thinking of doing a video, but I just thought I'll do an audio, more like a podcast kind of audio. I'll do videos later and hope you like it. Um, all I can say is discover for you, yourself. Try it out and welcome to the world of yoga. Namaste. Thank you.